Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Adi's Recipes and Hacks. Today I have brought to you the recipe of cheesy homemade paneer achari pizza. We will be making the base at home and all the stuffing will also be prepared at home. So let's get started with the recipe. But before that, I hope you all have enjoyed all of my previous recipes and will enjoy this one too. So let's take a look at the recipe. Now here I have taken 3 4 cup of hot milk in which I am adding 1.5 teaspoon of sugar. Now mix the mixture very well till the sugar has dissolved and the milk from hot has become lukewarm. I haven't tried so many recipes since many days because my board exams were going on but now I'll try to be regular with all of my videos. Now after the milk has become lukewarm add 1 teaspoon of instant dry yeast. Mix well till the yeast has dissolved. Now cover the mixture with the lid and let it bloom for 5 minutes. Now you can see that the mixture has puffed up. Now for the dough, I will be taking 1 and 1 fourth cup of self rising flour which is made by 1 and 1 fourth cup of refined wheat flour which is maida and adding 1 teaspoon of baking powder. But also before uh, making the dough you need to add half teaspoon of salt. Do not add the salt directly in the yeast mixture otherwise the yeast will get killed. Now add the yeast mixture in the dough and uh, mix it with a spoon at first and then take it onto a tabletop and try to knead it completely. The mixture will be sticky but don't worry keep on kneading it. If the mixture is really sticky like mine you can add a little oil or sprinkle some flour so, uh, to prevent the dough from sticking onto the tabletop. Now similarly like I am doing in the video you need to uh, mix the dough and then keep on kneading it for about 12 to 15 minutes. After kneading for 15 minutes this is what your dough will look like. It will not stick to your hands and the tabletop anymore. Now for proving grease a bowl with some oil and also grease the dough so that the top doesn't get dried out. Now place the dough in the bowl and cover the bowl with a wet towel not a dry towel because then the uh, top of the dough will also get dried out now cover it and prove it for two hours at a warm place now for the veggies i have taken julienne small red bell pepper yellow and a green one one medium sized onion and again some julienne tomatoes now uh, since this is a paneer pizza, I have taken few cubes of paneer. We will be marinating them in this mixture which is half teaspoon red chilli, turmeric, salt, coriander and garam masala powder. And also for, little, for it this to be a little wet, I am adding 1 tablespoon of mustard oil. Now mix the spices with the oil so that the oil becomes aromatic. For a lovely appetizing color, I am adding 1 tablespoon of curd which is dahi, half a small lemon. Now mix it completely till this becomes a smooth marinade. Now add the paneer cubes and marinate them in this mixture and let it sit for about half an hour. Now paneer which is cottage cheese also leaves moisture so for the extra moisture to be absorbed I am adding a little sprinkle of flour so that there is no extra moisture and the paneer becomes very golden brown and crispy when baked. Now this is my favorite part here I have taken 12 inch pizza plate and I have sprinkled some semolina which is suji or rava powder on the top so that the dough doesn't stick when it is baking. So now the dough has proved very well and now we will just knead it for about 5 to 10 minutes so that the dough again becomes a little moldable. You, you can even sprinkle some flour for uh, rolling the dough into the shape of the pizza plate and also you can uh, use your hands to shape it in the shape of a pizza. 
place the roll dough in the pizza plate very carefully make sure that the base of the dough is not very thin otherwise when you will after baking you will pick up the slice of the pizza it will break apart and it will be a huge mess now take 1 4th cup of pizza and pasta sauce you can also use ketchup or any other sauce of your liking you can even use achari mustard or any other thing uh, or the any other sauce which you like now spread the sauce very evenly on the base of the pizza This is a very important part do not skip it break the base of the pizza before applying the sauce but i after applying the sauce break the base because obviously i forgot now add uh, some cheese of your choice i am adding the mixture of cheddar and mozzarella cheese which is also called pizza cheese while buying and then uh, after adding a little bit of cheese add the veggies as per your choice uh, earlier i was placing them in a flower pattern but the vegetables didn't fit after some time so i just place them randomly do not use all the cheese earlier before placing the vegetables you also need some cheese uh, for searing the vegetables into the pizza so that they don't look apart after you are satisfied with the amount of cheese you have added sprinkle some chili flakes and dried herb which is also called oregano in the shops you can add the uh, sprinklings as per your taste Do not forget we have also marinated some paneer cubes now place the marinated paneer as per your choice again bake the pizza in a preheated oven for 220 degrees celsius for 45 minutes or till the crust is golden and cooked well now the pizza is ready enjoy it with your friends and family do let me know in the comment section how it turned out for you do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you want such more recipes in the future till then i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye and have a very wonderful time enjoying it with your friends